This is a live look at Lakeshore Drive on the north side. Traffic is finally flowing after being shut down for the crash that sent seven people to the hospital. The crash happened near LaSalle at around 630. Traffic was stopped on the drive until police could clear the way. CBS 2's Stephen Graves is live at Lurie Children's Hospital where four of the children were transported. Stephen. Dave, just a really bad crash here. The Chicago Fire Department saying one adult and one child are badly hurt. The crash and this aftermath, like nothing one neighbor I talked to says he's ever seen or heard before. <laughs> Sounds of sirens down Lakeshore Drive this evening. Police cars, ambulances, and fire trucks halting traffic for this serious crash where we know children were hurt. Very rarely would you see all the cars being stopped, stopped right, stopping right there. Citizen app video shows the traffic back up. <laughs> Abhishek Srivastava, one of many in the Gold Coast watching and listening from his apartment window near the North LaSalle Drive exit around 630. There was this low, deep thump sound. The type of sound where he knew something was wrong. I've lived here so long enough that I know the sound of Lakeshore Drive, uh, and that was just a different sound. He walked out to witness the aftermath with a crowd of neighbors. Just shocked because Honestly, like whoever lives here has never seen that happen before. Chicago police say three vehicles were involved. They believe two of them crashed into each other, then hit a Lexus. Our cameras captured crews towing two vehicles away around an hour after the crash, including this SUV appearing to be T-boned with its side to oncoming traffic. We know paramedics transported seven people to nearby hospitals. Two were almost killed, one of them a child. Three other children were injured, but should be okay. This, this thing just kind of makes you really uh, feel about the people who are hurt. Unclear if speed was a factor here or if these children or adults were buckled up safely. Chicago police now looking into this crash that again left a child seriously hurt. We'll of course keep you updated on everyone's condition. Live here at Lurie Children's Hospital, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Dave. All right, thanks, Stephen. We'll check back with you later.